I'm just going to say it. Fenris, you need to present yourself better. What are you talking about? You're squatting in Hightown. I sympathize with your claims, but your neighbors have influence. My claims? To the estate. Rightfully stolen isn't exactly something I can forward to the Viscount. Be more discreet about... yourself. I shall endeavor to exist with less offense. Seems the Kunari aren't exactly in a hurry to return home. Sarah Hawk. Yes. Last we met, I did not know your name, did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, Perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rook some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. On a head on, Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. friends in this city you're selling the assets of javaris tintop we are limited district limited contracts keeps territory clear and separate from the start he had a meager lot but he skipped with dues outstanding so up it goes sounds like he's made a few friends can one of them point me his way ask that about anyone else i'd have you thrown out this one he owes me too Javar is left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cup if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Javaris doesn't exactly sound like a mastermind. Does it work here?
We're good to go. Way to greet an old friend. You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my hand and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. What in blazes are you talking about? But you don't know? Then what? You're tracking for the Kunari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. The obvious thief was perhaps a bit too obvious. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards, and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. So far, all I see is you. Leaving the other person behind is the first step in running away. Sorry if that's inconvenient. Here. Want to drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Lowtown. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. You and I are done. Good and good. Thanks to you, I've got a lot of dead gear to haul. Sonic Dog Lord in Rotor. He bothered me. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? I saw it and thought it would be perfect for you. It is. This is probably the only ship I'm going to have for a while. <sighs> How pathetic is that? Cooing over a model ship. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. Oh? All of you, I can't fight the damned air. You want to live, stay out. What's going on, Mason? Guard Captain, there's... I can't even describe. On your time, son. Reports of some haze with a stench of rust and throw-up. There was a cloud, then a lingering mist. Anyone caught in the cloud just went mad. Then the others just wretched themselves dead. All right, keep your post. We'll take it from here. He's a good man, 
trust that it's as bad as he says. How about we skip this one? Send your man instead. How about I shove a canary up your coal mine? Let's go.
You were going to kill people anyway. That's not funny at all, really. It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. to know about this. So, I was wrong about our thief. You'll get used to it. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you won't talk straight, then we won't talk. Hold. Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turned from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? Why would anyone want to change it? You like it? <laughs> it's a city of people living their lives, for good or ill. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But... They are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. You allow chaos for good or ill, but one is clearly superior. Can you see how that certainty would benefit this whole city? Sorry, I find myself distracted by deny and die. And yet you accept the random violence that plagues this nation. I wonder if the weaker of your citizens would be so close to certainty. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. That weak elf made a good effort at using your own weapon against you. We have but one weapon. The certainty of the Kuhn. It cannot be used against us. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's taking long enough. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. 
You keep going on about that, but never say anything. Should I argue the wind? Very well. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek, years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Cune, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. This could get bad. The Viscount should know. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. Along with a whole street. An accident on purpose, more or less. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. You could send him gold and he'd complain it was heavy. And it's about to get worse. A shame. There were overtures of civility. Uh, your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? A Kunari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? Do the Kunari generally keep you updated? Kunari do not disappear. They know we watch and they are not shy about their movement. Speak to Seneschal Brown. He has details that show how damning this is. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Kunari, but it will cost all.